Hi guys, welcome back to the internet. A very exciting episode of Rose and Rosie today. Is that what we say? Oh, Rose and it's Rosie. been a while, I've had a break. Today, Rosie and I are gonna react to Ammonite, finally. Or, or like, how I like, to, sorry, how, hold on, I got excited. Ammonite, am I right? Ah, I like it. Because you can't spell Ammonite without am I. A reaction episode of Rose and Rosie mm -hmm. wouldn't be the same without our series sponsor. Yeah, Surfshark. Or dare I say, Sersha. Yeah, we're gonna be hearing from Sersha. <laughs> it's time for the musical. Let's hit it. Shh. Smooth integration. Fossil. Surfshark. Surfshark is like a fossil in that it's precious and it's important. Fossil. Fossil in my BPN. N N N. You look like. And get real dirty and then, then we'll sit. Okay, winds, let's face. face. Surf shark. Oh my <laughs> I lost my bud and oh, my did mind. You lose I lost bud. my bud in the passion. In case you didn't already know, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that lets you place your laptop or device anywhere in the world and lets you access the internet as if you're in that country. This means that if there's something you want to watch but don't have access to, you can use Surfshark to change your location so you can access all the other Netflix libraries. Mm, who doesn't want to access every single Netflix library? Surfshark is a VPN that doesn't keep logs, meaning it doesn't monitor, store, or keep track of your online whereabouts or actions in any way. Surf in a clean cyber ocean with no ads, trackers, malware, and fishing it up. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. So use our code Rose and Rosie for 83% off and three extra months for free. Surfshark even offers a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out for yourself. Link in the description below. Surfshark. Right, so Ammonite, I'd like to deliver some one liner jokes. You really are ready for your daddy role, aren't you? First dad joke. Okay. When you think the only fossil in this film was Bridget Jones's mum, think again. <laughs> whole thing about Bridget Jones's mum. She's in everything and also she looks exactly like my dead grandma. Literally like, I can't watch anything like Bridget Jones without being like grandma like I love her so much. Okay. Everyone loves a lesbian story that starts with melancholera. <laughs> we love a broken woman who's been drinking dirty water. <laughs> not, not as strong. At first Winslet comes across as rude and cold but that's because she caught a chill in the Titanic and washed up in Lyme Regis. They're not getting stronger. But wait, she are. had the necklace, so she should be a millionaire. Oh yeah, she's a lying That's bitch. Yeah. If you didn't already know, it's set in the 1840s in Lyme Regis. And it's Kate kind Winslet. of true story, kind of not, because it's based on real people, but they've made them queer. But equally, we have no evidence that they were straight. So Mary Anning, she's an I want to say paleontologist. Yeah, she is a self-taught paleontologist. Self-taught. Self-taught. It's really interesting because obviously she had a hard time, right? Because intersectionality here, because she's a woman, uh. Uh, and uh, she was like lower class. Yeah, and she wasn't getting credited. No, because the Swish men Rosie. kept taking credit. How I hate men. Oh, don't start, oh, Rosie. Sorry, don't I'm start. Sorry. As you know, we are huge fans of period mm. films. But this one, all jokes and kidding aside, I genuinely am. loved it. It was a slow build, but it actually built no, something and liked some other films. I didn't find it that slow a build. So when we watched the trailer, there were many similarities between Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Everyone was sulking. The one lady in Portrait of a Lady on Fire had her bitch face on, and Kate Winslet was just pissed off. And what really annoyed me was when she took a piss on the beach, which I think was a real piss, and then she handed Sersha a pasty. There was a, a distinct lack of hand washing. Have you ever heard of COVID? I know. Obviously not. Or melancholera. Exactly. No exactly. wonder Sersha got it. A lot of our audience will want to see us react to sex scene. Sex isn't a big deal, you guys. Only this time. It was. It was in the 1840s. Yeah, it was between two women. Did you know that Kate Winslet gifted Saoirse Ronan An the, orgasm? Se the sex scene on Saoirse's birthday? Kate Winslet thinks a lot of herself, and rightly so, because that would be a gift. She said she wanted, hang on, I'll, qu I'll quote her. I Who doesn't really love Winslet? love Winslet, you know? I mean, I would sit on her face and grab the headboard. What? I just wanted Saoirse to have, frankly, a great memory in her film life 
Regardless of how the scene played out or the movie turned out, I knew it would be great just because of the experience that we would share together. Are they dating? Lots of people were trying to say, is Kate Winslet gay or bi or is she interested in she women? She might just right? be a really good actress. <laughs> and I was like, guys, we shouldn't be reacting this way because that's exactly why in the olden days, straight people didn't want to take on gay roles, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think Kate Winslet's gay at all. I, I think she's very respectful of gay yes. people. She's a I very think she's respectful. an ally. And I think it's great that the director, Francis Lee, yeah, queer, Francis Lee. Queer, He's queer. queer, he calls himself a queer working class guy. He's from Yorkshire. Was so up for them to just work it out themselves mm -hmm. and make it really true to those characters. I thought that was great. They I love turned that. down um, basically on sex scenes you get like intimacy experts to tell you how to do it. Do you? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. My next profession. They turned it down, they did it. So, do you want to hear about stop, it? Do you stop, stop, stop. You're Saoirse and Kate and I'm the intimacy expert. Okay, okay? what would you I'll have be, me done? I'll be like... Just like it. And I'll be like... What, really? I'll be like... Yeah. Are you talking about... I'll be like, I'll be like... The only way to make it look real is if it is real. There's a scene where Saoirse sits on Kate Winslet's face. And I looked very carefully at that scene. But she really sat on that face. Like, there was like... There, I didn't see a gap of air. Did you want to hear about how they did the love scene? Yeah. Winslet said, We wanted to really show the deep, passionate, loving, trusting connection between these two women that had come as a result of quiet longing and real deep desire. There was a lot of trust in the room and also at the end of the day, women know what women want. So there was shorthand that Saoirse and I had that taught me so much. I bet there was. Sometimes films, especially straight films, try and create passionate sex scene and it just looks painful. We'll wipe everything off the desk, right? We'll, we'll smash around. Right. And Ammonite did that realistically, but I think so many films miss the mark and it just looks like, oh, that's awful. You've just cracked every plate you own, spilled the coffee. You're gonna have to come down and clear that up. There's no way you could come later with that on your mind, you wouldn't be able to if you knew that all that mess was, do you know what I mean? But did anyone else worry about the hygiene of the two women? Right, so I did. So basically they were on the beach all day, they'd weed. It was like the wilds again, exactly. but worse, because exactly. it was more colder. They'd have their pasties, they'd just been getting sweaty and yeah. kind of gross. And then Kate Winslet, Went down on Saoirse. I worried Kate Winslet didn't finish, but you told me she did. I thought Saoirse got a lot more I'm so attention. Say, I'm really glad that you worried on Kate's <laughs> behalf. Is it equal? I don't yeah. think she climaxed. And I was like, well, Rose was like, I think she did. And I was I like, well, did. I'm dumb and I can't read cues. Good job, I'm loud. Anyway. Did Kate Winslet pissed out of the that um, music right. scene. Because she was out jealous of her ex. Oh, yeah. Because who Saoirse... was bloody Fiona Shaw for yeah, killing you? Who I'm in love love with and she's a lesbian in real life and Aunt Petunia yeah it's all getting very gay suddenly isn't it Aunt Petunia I absolutely love it there's just something about Aunt Petunia like oh. let me just see if I can get a freeze frame picture mm. of the love scene oh yeah <laughs> oh, I did, I did. Now, the only thing is... You're gonna talk about the age gap. It didn't put me off until the sex scene. You look very different to one another, like... I didn't you really didn't... pick up on it, because Kate Winslet looks so good for 45. I was like, not that 45's old, I mean, I'm <laughs> approaching that myself. Ooh. But I... Ooh. I loved it on my gay rating. It's number five. It's a five from me. Well, there they look mother and daughter. They look mother don't and daughter. They? There they do. Get that out of your head when you're okay. watching her sit on her face and you're fine. Okay. She um, sat on that face. I know. And she she I know. I, I like, know. Ah! I feel like she, she came along and went, do you know what I mean? Whereas I feel like I'd be like, right, I'm coming in. You okay? What I'm you lowering do. down. That is what you do. Finally, I wanted to say, I understand the old hate to love like romance. Trope. Yeah, me too. But I did not understand how they got to. At the beginning, she like didn't talk to her on the beach. I you know, know it was really rude. She took a piss it? in front of her salad. Ready for my salad? Yeah, she's in front of her pasty, and then <laughs> she did. Doesn't every lesbian romance start with a pissy pasty though, in some yeah, respect? True. And that could be a metaphor, but shall we do a tour? Should we do an Ammonite tour, please? An Ammonite tour. So yeah. that involves what? One we location? We go to the beach. Yeah. I'll take a piss. We'll eat a pasty. Nice. I'll go in the sea, catch a chill. We can nurse me back to health. Then I'll, we'll, then I'll sit, sit on your face. No, I'll sit on no, your face. I'll sit on your face. No offense, you're pregnant. I'll sit on your face. Okay, great. All right. I'll grab the headboard and we'll just go from there. Okay, guys, that was our review of Ammonite. If you haven't seen it already, I strongly recommend that you do. It's really up there on my gay rating. It's high up on my made me want a pasty rating. That's an interesting yeah. conclusion. Mm. Can you um, do a Devonshire accent, by the way? You don't know. Is it like that? It's a bit farmer, isn't it? Oh, you do, is that offensive in some way? I'm not sure. Let's just keep going with it. All right, guys, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you this time next week. Don't forget to download Surfshark because that's how we're going to pay for this baby. Yeah. That and getting some fossils. Bye! Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.